Okay, we're here demonstrating a Skyrie Pocket 3, which is a handheld XRF gun. On the back of this gun, we have a where you can, we have a spot right there where you can mount the, the PDA, which we just took off. It's wireless. Um, the PDA itself is a real simple setup, and it's uh, it works very easy. You just touch the screen, and you're ready to go. There we go. Uh, next to the gun, we have a fixturing device. If you wanted to actually mount the gun on this fixture, and on top here is a standard sample. This makes it easy for hands-free operation. You simply place your stand your sample on top of this. You see there's a little laser beam in here. You line it all up. You can close the door if you choose to, or leave it open and take a reading. Okay, the PDA, I got a little glare, so I'll bring it in here, is a real simple screen. And this machine can be used for doing many different things. We're going to do ROHS with it. And we simply press the arrow button, and it takes us into the next screen, which gives us the ability to rename this application, which this one was just called New Spec. We're not going to change it, so we just press the enter key or the arrow key again. Next thing we do is we place the gun on the sample. And the sample is right underneath the nose of that gun. And as you'll see, the machine is counting down. And this is in PPM. And our measuring time for this example is at 30 seconds. Uh, we just went and hit information button. And basically it shows the spectrum, which if you look, they're all color coded. So you can see all the different elements that we're looking at. And we can toggle back and forth screens. We're going to go back to the information screen. And in this case right here, it tells us all the different materials or all the different things that we did here, such as the mode name, measuring time, the current, the tube voltage, filter, collimator, etc. Now we want to look at the test results. And the test results are displayed in PPM, and it's done taking a reading. Now we did this test at 30 seconds. And typically, you're going to use, I would say, 100 to 200 seconds. And the longer the measuring time, the better degree of accuracy. In this case, the bromine was supposed to be 500, according to the sample that we just took a reading on. And the bromine itself read at 467, which you can expect a lot better results at longer measuring time. The cadmium was supposed to be reading at, just tap the screen, 100, and that read it at 102. The mercury is supposed to be one. There is supposed to be 200. That read it at 177. The lead is supposed to be 400, 416, and the chromium, which is supposed to be 400, read at 434. So, even though we did this at 30 seconds, we still got very good results. And that's as simple as the software is. Now you have the ability at this point. You can download this to Excel, or you can just look at your results, and it's going to show you a history and you can scroll down and look at all your results and then of course you can just simply dump them to Excel and look at them on a computer. And it's as simple as just pushing that and we don't have a computer hooked up to this one right now and you name the file and then you can retrieve it at another time. And that's as simple as the software is. Thank you.